Hello, welcome back. Right, um, before I went away on holiday last month, uh, just before I went away, I took delivery of a few MSX cartridges from Mark Payne from Mark Th Fixes Stuff. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, and never got around to testing them, so that's what I'm going to do today. Just plug them in quickly, just check that they work, show you what the games are like. Obviously, um, there's one here that I'm completely unfamiliar with, which is just going to be a very, very quick test. I haven't checked it out at all. Um, don't really sort of like know what it's about, but let's get on with it. Now, um, you'll remember this from a couple of videos back. I've already shown you Kings Valley, not on the cartridge, um, but the uh, I loaded it up through the Castorino device that um, I got from Duncan Edwards, this fantastic device. Um, if you have an MSX, you should consider getting one of those. Right, first one I'm going to put in, don't worry, I am going to turn the machine off before I uh, do anything, is... Ye Are Kung Fu 2. Now, um, it's a, the first game was really, really good on the Spectrum and um, the other machines. The sequel was um, a bit woeful, if you ask me. In fact, I did a video of worst sequels um, for the spec for Spectrum games. And, the, you know, Ye Are Kung Fu 2 made the list. But I didn't know that it was a conversion of the MSX version which was written specifically for the machine with the machine in mind so anyway let's go and check out the uh, MSX version I have looked at this on YouTube it looks marginally better than um, the other versions uh, that I mentioned right here we go I'm having to play with joystick because the left arrow key on this MSX is a bit um, wonky if you know what I mean it's a bit uh, temperamental Okay, so you can play it one or two players. Here we go. I'm obviously going to play one player because I'm a Baz and no mates. Now, MSX fans, please um, shout with your uh, memories of this game. Let's get into it. Decent enough little sort of jingle going there. And that's me, the big ginger bloke with a funny walk. Uh, being attacked by a load of flying midgets. I forgot. Ah! I'm not doing too great on this. And here's my first boss, you know, guarded. And you can see coming down from the, the sort of sky are some noodles, you know. And if I collect those, then that um, gives me invincibility or something for a bit. Um, now, we all like to stop a fight, punch up for a pot noodle break, don't we? Um, but this is, uh, this is quite... Quite fiddly to play with the joystick. It is, as I said, it's already, you know, much, much better than uh, the other versions um, that I've seen. Well, I haven't said that. I've only seen the Spectrum version. And that is god awful. Um, but this at least is a little bit better. It's not the, the greatest game in the world. Um, but it's not the travesty. The Specky version is certainly isn't as much fun as the... It's predecessor. Come on, ah! But yeah, the cartridge is working all right. The the graphics are good. If um, you know, a bit strange in the way the uh, the stance they've given him. Uh, it kind of looks like Cartman in his pajamas, or how I would imagine him to look. Oh, ah! Oh, dead again. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yen Pai is a bit of a hard bastard by the look of things. He's only the first boss. It's probably not, but you know what I'm like with joysticks. I probably wouldn't be much better with the keys, actually. Come on, just fucking hammer it. Give it. Ah. Oh, I'm going to lose, aren't I? I'm going to lose. Ah. Ah, oh, come on. Now, oof. You know. There we go, that's gonna be game over, I think, if it follow, yep, yeah, there we go. Right, okay, let's turn the MSX off and put one of the other games in. We will have a look at King's Valley next, see if that works. As I said before, that's a an excellent game. So let's just see how we get on with this. You know, if you don't know the MSX and if you've been thinking of getting one, I would strongly um, recommend it because it really is a great machine. Uh, right, here we go. Now again, playing with joystick, never good for Baz. Uh, 
But this is a wonderful little game, although very difficult. It's probably not as difficult as I'm making it out to be. But as you can see, the cartridge works fine. Uh, there we go. Get up the stairs, you clown. Oh. So I've got to collect each of these jewels and then the exit will open up and then I've got to open the exit and then I can, oh, leave. Very jolly tune, lovely graphics, lovely graphics. There is a King's Valley too, apparently. I don't know it at all though. Ah! Bollocks, I think is the word. Yep, sorry. Oh, come on, get out of it, get out of it. No, ah, back myself into a corner there. Right, I'll tell you what, let's try a different way. Let's try and get the top one. Oh, no, let's not try and get the top ones first. Oh, it's going wrong already. Or is it? No, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, fuck. Ah! I think, only, I think this is last man standing. Ah. Bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Right, well, at least we know um, King's Valley works okay. So let's move on to the next game, remembering to turn the MSX off. Oh, fucking joystick fell off. Ah! Right, this is rollerball. This is uh, a pinball game. And I'm gonna have to use keys for this, I think. I did try this one. I sort of told a little white lie earlier. I have tried this one out. Um, and I had to figure out what the keys are for it. It's, for the left flippers, it's the tab button, return for the right flipper, and I think it's space to fire, uh, to wind the ball up, if you know what I mean. There we go, just checking out. Oh, got far with that, didn't I? All the way down. Oh, what button was it for the Oh, it's return for the uh, plunger as well. There we go. Now, I've never been a sort of huge, massive pinball fan, um, but I know there were plenty of games um, back in the day. Obviously, Codemasters had their pinball simulator, and there was games like Macadam Bumper, um, but I never, never really got into them. Um, if you were into pinball games back in the day, then by all means, please shout up um, with what ones you had. If you know this game from the MSX, then if or even if it came out on other machines, ah, I mean it's quite jolly, simple enough to pick up, movements good, scrolls okay. It's probably okay for a decent little sort of waste of fifteen minutes. Especially seeing as, as it's cartridge, you don't have to wait hours for it to load. Ah, right, am I stuck? Or is he going to roll down? Come on, come on. Right, I'm going to roll down. Whee! Yeah, this isn't, this isn't too bad at all, this one. I don't know how many tables there are, whether or not you're limited to um, just the one. Or there's several that you sort of unlock or, or whatever. Um, oh. Ah. There we go. Have we... Ah, come on, get up there, you bastard. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Good fun. Come 
Right, there we go. That's Powerball. So let's move on to the um, last game in the bunch, which is... Uh, which is what? It's this one, The Maze of Gallius. Now, I know nothing about this game. So back to the joystick. Um, just have a look and see what it's like. Again, um, any sort of memories you have, any recollections of this, let me know. But here we go. We've got it um, going. So this is Nightmare 2, The Maze of Gallius. I don't know Nightmare 1. Uh, let's get into it. Seems all right. I did actually, sorry, I did check this out on YouTube, I forgot to say, um, but I've never played this game. Um, and it looks sort of jolly enough, um, but I won't have a clue what I'm doing here. Can I go down those ladders? Uh, can I go down here? Yes, I can. Nice music, nice sort of Zelda-esque sort of character, if you can see that. Oh. Uh, I've got a clue what I'm supposed to do because I have no instructions. But yeah, seems uh, decent enough if I knew what, I, what, what what it was I had to do on it. Can you break through this way? No, oh, you can. Right, okay. uh, so do I have two characters, do I? Um, if so, how do I chop and change between the two. Oh. Ah, right, okay. Uh, it would seem I die to chop and change between the two. Well, I don't want to go that way then. Uh, oh, I've got no choice. I've got to go that way. Right. Uh, ooh. Damn. Right. Um, that was a very, very quick play of the Maze of Gallius. That actually seems like it's a really good game if I knew what I was doing. Like I say, there's no instructions. Um, but yeah, uh, so there you go. Um, four cartridges, they all work um, perfectly well. And um, we're all decent enough fun. Um, yeah, I come through to is the one I probably won't return to um, very frequently, if at all. But these ones look um, pretty good. It, this is just a sort of demo mode for that maze of Gallius. So let's just um, let this sort of play out for a bit and see what that shows us. Oh, it looks good. I should really have watched this first, shouldn't I? But anyway, there we go. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But please, please take the time to join in with the discussions because that's what it's all about. Particularly interested to hear um, of your thoughts of the games um, on display, if you know any of them, particularly this one. Uh, because that one looks like there's a really good game in there. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.